here. Um, I'm gonna let the introduction play, Isaac and then I'll start his talking. Mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. How convenient. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. All right, guys, that was the introduction. So basically, we're going to be starting a new series that's probably... I'm probably going to put out a video uh, daily, if not every other day. Um, this game has roguelite, roguelite elements, and basically what that means is it has, like, infinite replay value. Every time you play, the game is different. The items are different, the rooms are different, and the enemies are different. So, um, I've played this game. I probably have about 15 or 20 hours into it. I am not very good, just forewarning. Uh, there are some players out there who are excellent. <laughs> I have a lot of growth where I can get a lot better. So, just to prove, I reset all my statistics. So, under collection here, it's completely empty. And under statistics here, uh, it's all zeros, just to prove that this is going to be a fresh run. So, uh, we'll get started here. Uh, there are a lot of different characters you can play as, but right now the only character to play as is Isaac until I start unlocking others. So we're going to be using him by default. Alright, this game kind of, like I said, is it kind of reminds me of like Zelda Dungeons. You see that I have the three hearts and whatnot. Um, so we'll get started. Now, do not be overwhelmed. This game can be overwhelming. And this is going to be like, learn as we go from both you and I. So, um, this first video is going to have a lot of information most likely. But, you know, don't get discouraged because the more videos I put out, the more you'll understand how things work. So, we have the map in the upper left corner. And in the middle of the screen, we have, uh, money, bombs, and keys. It shows our arrows, which, <laughs> is our attack, is our tears, the poor kid. Uh, there's a space, with, which is empty. That's a space bar item, which, you know, certain items allow you to use, uh, allow you to use hitting the space bar, um, we'll, we'll use the item. There is a charge bar next to the space bar screen. That basically, it's full right now, so if I had an item, I could use it. The more rooms you go to and, and defeat enemies, it, it will charge for you to use. And finally, again, I mentioned the three hearts, that's our life, so. Um, in the first room here, we're going to start out, uh, there is an, a room here called a curse room on the right. And that's indicated by, you know, spikes on the ground. So basically going into this room will hurt me, but there is a chance there might be a good item on the other side. So we're going to use that first. Okay, you see these two red chests. So 
in the red chest, um, I don't know the exact odds, but there's a chance I can get a pretty decent item, or there's a chance that there might be enemies in the chest, so I'm gonna start out by opening them. Okay, this gave me a uh, halo of flies, basically. Uh, these flies um, will attack other enemies, however, they will eventually die. It's a decent item, it's not great. And the other chest, like I said, there's enemies, so there's two spiders which will kill. Okay, so, as you can see, going through that curse room, it took a half heart to enter and a half heart to leave. Uh, that was not a very good curse room. If, if I would have known what was in there, I wouldn't have went in, so let's continue by going down. We'll kill some more spiders. Okay, every time you, you defeat a, a, a group of enemies in the room, they have a chance of leaving an item. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Keys are probably the most important item you can grab because they open areas like shops and items, which we'll get into eventually. So, as you can see, my flies are already gone. They killed all the enemies, but they're kind of like kamikaze planes. You know, they eventually kill themselves. So, here's our first set, um, which again, we'll get into how to use that. Let's kill this guy here. He's dead. There's a half heart drop, which I'll take. Alright, so on the map here to the left, on the indicator, we have a skull. That indicates our boss for this floor. Down here we have the shop, which requires a key to open. In the shop, there's usually pretty good items which you can buy to help you. Um, in my opinion, it's always good to go to the shop when you at least have 15 cents, because that's what the item usually costs, is 15 cents to go in to buy. However, I notice some players, if you have seven cents, like they'll go in because sometimes items are half off, but there's no guarantee. So you might go in with seven cents thinking something's on sale, and you go in and it's at full price, you just wasted the key. So we'll go left here, and we'll beat this enemy here. He's like a pile of meat and a bone. And again, I suck, so you're. it's going to take a while. I'm really rusty. I haven't played this in months. He dropped another key, which is great. This stuff here, there's <laughs> there's crap in the game. Um, rarely you can you can shoot it, and sometimes it'll drop keys or bombs and whatnot. So nothing there, but it's always good to shoot it. Okay, this item on the map is it shows a crown. That's that's your item room for the game. They require a key to enter the item room, except for the first floor. It's always free to go into. Any floors further down, uh, it will require one key. So we'll go in here. Now there are. A lot of, of items in this game. I, I want to say maybe over 200. I could be wrong, but there is a lot. So there's where I dropped from shooting the uh, crap here. I got a half heart. So shoot that. This, I don't know what this item is. I'm going to grab it. The mulligan. Okay. Also, items change your appearance. As you can see, I have like tumors on my face. Uh, and the description was they grow inside. So I think from now on, there's a chance that my tears will also shoot flies because I basically have parasites growing inside me. This game's kind of gross, but um, it's a pretty good item if I remember. Now that I grab it, I do remember what it does. Um, once in a while, it's it's kind of rare. You're going to see me, uh, instead of a tear flying out, it's going to be a fly. So our first boss is the Widow. It's usually a pretty easy enemy. It has low life. But again, I'm gonna get hit because I, I see. And they, uh, the widow spawns little baby spiders. There, I just fired a, a little blue fly. There's another one there. Um, so again, I think the mulligan's a pretty decent item. Not one of the best, but can also not one of the worst. Right? Damn, oh my god, a lot of damage. Hopefully, I can beat this boss. Get the boss is down. I just have to finish killing the spiders, grab some health, the boss dropped. Alright, now there's one little nub remaining. Okay, so just like item rooms, every time you kill a boss, they also leave an item. This, this for uh, instance, is a health upgrade, which will permanently increase my hearts by one. So you're going to see here when I grab it, I should have four hearts. And there you go. So let's move on down to the next floor um, and go from there. There's these little funny cutscenes too, so we'll watch them. Okay, that was kind of terrifying. <laughs> Not really funny, but usually they're 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 kind of funny or sad. Uh, these guys have bombs in them. They're kind of dangerous. There's a half heart. Let's continue going down. Kill the spider. Shoot the crap. 
All right, there she goes. There, there's a rare instance where um, the, the, uh, the crap had an item in it. So um, this here is, is what's nice is, you know, you get pennies here. I grab one penny, but there's nickels, which is five cents. There's also dimes, which are very rare, but it's always great to grab one. Um, again, don't get overwhelmed. There's a lot to learn in this series, and we'll learn as we go. This here is a pill, which they have random effects. Sometimes they're good for you, sometimes they're bad, so I'm gonna use it. It was a full health pill, which is probably one of the best pills. It gives me basically full health. If I was down to one heart and I, I pop that pill, it's gonna give me all my health back up, so that's a great pill to have. Now, also, that pill's in the rotation to where, because of the color of it, if I grab it, it won't be a question mark. It will be. It will tell me that it's full health. Again, because this is a uh, roguelike game, just because that color of pill on this run indicates full health, on the next run it might be the same color, but it might be something bad for me, like health down, or uh, it might make me slower. So that's what's kind of cool about it. Taking pills are a gamble, uh, but it's always fun to gamble, so I usually take them. Let's move forward. There's a, um, a TNT which will explode, basically. They're usually nice to lure enemies into to kill. So we'll move up and to the left. We're looking for our item room. Uh, the shop isn't really viable right now because I only have six cents. Kill those guys. I got a pair of bombs, which is great. Kill this nub. Kill these spiders. Uh, there's our boss room on the left, which I don't want to go into yet. I'd rather be trying to get the item first for the floor. And I am taking horrible damage. Alright, this is a dead end here. With a couple spiders, we'll split into two. Go. They're dead. Shoot the shit. Alright, one more spider. Finish him off. There we go, we got a bomb. Those are always good. Now, another thing I want to explain is why I have that bomb is when there is areas where rooms basically surround an area, for instance, um, the room up in, and then the room in the middle, which is one down, one right, and the room on the adjacent to there is a chance that there may be a secret room. So whenever you see the, the U shape or whatever, um, you want to look for the secret room. So hopefully it's here. And it is. So we're going to go to the secret room. Secret rooms usually have money or items. In this case, wow, that's a lot of money. That's pretty rare to get pennies and two nickels combined, which is great. So it's gonna be, we're going to be able to go to our shop now because this is going to give us more than 15 cents. Okay, we have 23 cents. So now... Because we have three keys, we're going to look for the shop, which takes a key, and also the item room. So we're going to visit both, which is a really good sign. Okay, there's our item room. We'll put these pieces of meat here. Okay, one left. This is a key. Um, definitely, you always want to take keys over bombs, in my opinion. I'm going to use one bomb to gain one key. Keys seem to be rarer. I don't know. Maybe Sucks. Basically, what it does, and you're gonna see me use it against the boss, is um, it's basically like an explosive. If I remember, and I could be wrong, is when you lay it down, enemies are kind of attracted by it. When enemies gather by it, it explodes, causing damage. Uh, oh, and I forgot, we're gonna go to the shop. So, again, this will take a key, and this will give you an example of how a shop works. Okay, so again, remember I said the 15 cents, that's usually the cost. So, this here, just like in Zelda, is the compass. We're going to grab that. It's one of the best items in the game. It can save a lot of time because what it's going to do is it's going to show icons on the map to where where the enemy is. We're going to grab a spirit heart. This is also new to you. As you can see, that's different than a red heart. But how a spirit heart works is um, whenever you take damage when you have spirit hearts, they take them first instead of your red hearts. And whenever you lose them, they're permanently gone. So it's a permanent life, basically. And I will grab this heart because it's on sale. Sale items are indicated in red, regular price are white. And again, don't get overwhelmed because like I said, this first video will be we will be the hardest to follow just because the learning curve. So this floor is completely discovered, so we're gonna go and fight our boss now. Alright, we're gonna be fighting Pin. He's usually a pretty easy boss. He has no we're gonna try and use Bomb Friend, which I do not like this item. There he is. And he just 
whoever's not hooking to blow up. Oh my god, that's weird. Okay, there, there, there's the first instance. I just unlocked a, something called a radioactive spider. I met some kind of condition in the game, whether it be grabbing, you know, X amount of red heart containers or killing X amount of bosses, I don't know. But what it did was unlock the mutant spider. So basically, whenever I go into item rooms, that mutant spider may appear for me to grab. And that's what makes this game so great, is the replay value. Now, I will tell you, it might be 20 runs till we get to the, to the mutant spider, but it's one of the best items in the game, giving um, something called quad shot, which instead of one tier, you shoot four. But again, I digress. We, we may not grab that for a long time. The boss cr grabbed, uh, dropped an item with a crown, which is called pageant boy. I don't think it's very good, it basically gives you like 6 or 7 cents usually. That's not really a good item, so, but we'll grab it, and now you can see Isaac's wearing a crown. Uh, what's cool about the items is they change your appearance, so the longer you grow, go, the more screwed up you are. And finally, um, I, there's a chance that you unlock an extra room after defeating a boss called the Devil Room, where the Devil will offer you items. Let's go into it. And the best way to explain this is, if I were to permanent permanently give up health, I can take those items, okay? Uh, let's shoot the fire first. I'll let you soak that in. Now, the Devil Room items are usually the, sh the best items in the game, so on the, in this case, on the left, we have something called Guppy's Head, which basically causes flies to surround us and attack, which we got earlier, if you remember, um, from that pill, I think, Friends to the End. It's not really that good, and it is not worth two hearts. It's also a space bar item, just like we have Best Friend. And it's not really worth it. On the right is one of the best items in the game. I believe it's called Brimstone, which we're gonna, we're gonna grab. Instead of shooting tears, I th we're gonna shoot blood out of, our, out of our mouth. But watch my health here. So, not health, so it's always a game. So uh, you, you can see my appearance has changed. I'm basically like a charred demon. But instead of tears, watch this. You charge this shot, watch his cheeks, and then boom, you get that blood fly across the screen. As you grab these items, your stats change, I'll show you. Um, you can see here on the left, I have the boot, which is movement speed. And on the next one is uh, range, or, or I'm sorry, how fast you'll shoot. The three arrows. The, the third one is damage. And the fourth one is is um, how far your, your stream will travel. If you notice, I, I did start with two everything. Brimstone being one of the best items, it, it increased damage basically a lot. And it has infinite range. So it's one of the, it's probably one of the top three items in the game, maybe the top five. But one downfall is it takes a lot of charge and you can't just shoot constant tears, but again, uh, it's definitely worth it. So we go down to the next floor. We'll watch the cutscene. I think we just seen that <laughs> seen that one. Now it's terrifying. So there, there's the a good example of the compass. Look at my map. It hasn't showed me every little square, but it has showed me where the icons are, so I want to head for that item room, so obviously I'm going to head left. Um, you can also get something called the treasure map, which will show where the blocks are. If you have both the compass and the, uh, in, in the uh, map, you're, you're pretty much, you're set. That's really good. I mean, if you have both those items, there's a chance that you're probably going to beat the game most likely, but again, let's, let's continue left. So we have our charge shot, and I'll just show you how to use the words. He's dead. And again, it's very powerful. One more shot should do it. There we go. So, uh, we'll head left. Again, the downside is it's a charge shot, so it takes a while. Like, it's a shot. So we'll kill these uh, flies here. This is going to be our first trinket. I believe it's Mom's Pearl, which it is. Now, a trinket, you you bring me through the rest of your game. You can only carry one at a time. There is an instance where you can carry two at a time, and that's if you got an item from the shop called Mom's Purse, where you can carry two at a time. Mom's Pearl, what it does is it increases the chance when you beat a room that a spirit heart drops, the blue hearts. So, let's continue up here and check out our item. Okay, I believe that's the odd mushroom. I could be wrong, or we'll see. Yeah, odd mushroom. So my fire rate's up. So this is going to charge Brimstone real quick. Look how fast I'm charging up. This stacks really well with Brimstone. And what's cool again about with this game is items stack together. So having Odd Mushroom with Brimstone is great. Again, here's the curse room down here. Because of my health situation, I do not want to go down in there. Because I can basically be killed really quick. But that's the gamble and risk you take with taking a devil item. 
see just like that. Shit he is. Uh, up here is called the Mob Trap Room. I'll go up here. And basically, if I open that chest, I have to fight a series of enemies. I usually take it if it's a golden chest. It did take a to open. We're gonna be fighting a silkworm. Part, but we have another round of enemies to fight. This brimstone is doing great work. What's nice is I can stand on the other side of the map. It's, you know, it's kind of like a, um, a safety. Safety. Where, you know, I don't have to get up and close to use my gear. This will be the final uh, stand. Usually it is two or three rounds. I might die here. So we're going to wait for these things to pop up and hit them. Jesus Christ, one more hit will kill me. He's dead and one more. Alright, so let's grab our half card. And our, this is called a tarot card. Uh, tarot cards are just like pills, basically. They're always good, but uh, some are better than others. This one I'm going to just use now because it's basically the worst card you can have. It's called the tower. It's going to put a lot of bombs everywhere, basically, just to show you. I usually end up hurting myself. Uh, rather than, you know, doing something positive like you know, so. On the right here, if you look at the map, there's a mini skull. That is a mini boss. Uh, there's also a big skull on the map that's obviously the, the you know, the, the, the boss for the, um, the floor. Also, about Brimstone, I forgot to tell you, you can charge it before going into the room, so we're gonna do that. We may die here, but, you know, that's fine, so... This is I do not want to fight, because uh, he's really fast. About half dead. Oh shit, okay. My best friend is a So, you have a pill, which we know is full health because we have grabbed this for. I'm gonna save that. Um, we did get a spirit heart, you know, which again, if you, if you get hit, it's gonna take damage uh, from that. The How that spirit heart popped was there was a tinted rock here, which is blue. Some rooms have tinted rocks when you blow them up with bombs. Uh, they will drop keys, bombs, or spirit hearts. So let's charge our shop before going down here. Okay, there's a gold chest. So I don't have a key, so I cannot open that. These guys, I believe, greed heads, I think. Yes. You drop money, uh, whatever you get hit by the So what that is, uh, the more you get hit, uh, the more money you will permanently lose. Sucking you good. Alright, I'm gonna pop a full health because I'm almost dead. So that pill disappears. Okay, we got one more. I hate these guys. Alright, so we're finished. There's no point in using them bombs to get the money. What I'm really looking for is keys. Um, so we'll head south. Uh, these guys are poison knobs. I Again, this is the first. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die here. This guy's tough for falling. Yes, he trapped himself. And I'm dead. So. Alright, well, that was a good introduction. There's still a lot to learn. Basically, Dear Diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some cave. I leave all that I own to my pet, my pet cat, Guppy. And those are the items I got. You can see. Um, all the items got the compass, pageant boy, brimstone, odd mushroom, my best friend, uh, and mulligan in the beginning there. Goodbye, cruel world, Isaac. Alright guys, well I hope you like the introduction. There will be plenty more of these going. And again, it's going to get better as I go because I'm unlocking new items, which basically this is a game I stated before. The more you play, the more you'll get better. You're going to get better at finding out enemy patterns, and you're going to get better because item rooms will drop better items. So... Um, thanks for joining me. Um, please join me if you like what you see. Subscribe. Hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Thank you.